Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 17 of the Beginner's Guide 2023, and finally, chapter 2 has now been released. It, it was released last week, and uh, we can now see the, some of the new features. And of course, the predominant main feature of chapter 2 is the new purge system. But at the moment, we don't have a, a location that we really want to get attacked. Because um, if, if I explain that you put... Let me, let me show you the update to this. So now you've got treasure available in your cover, whether it's coins or gold dust or actual treasure items that are lying about. They all get totaled up and give you a total coffer value. And that value generates a threat level. So with the, the treasure that we've got currently, we've got 2,753.3, which gives us a threat level of level 2. And we can proclaim wealth and a base will appear and it'll come and attack us and try to steal our treasure. A, a level 2 purge. However... They will try to smash, so we'll need to put doors on. They'll try to smash through doors. They won't come through the walls and the foundations like they did previously. So currently we've only got one door to stop them. So they'll they'll build a base somewhere nearby. They'll come towards us and the demolishers will demolish the doors to get in. So if we had one there and then we would put another door here, they would demolish that and get in here to try to steal our stuff, but once they've got a path right to the coffer, they'll just start smashing the foundations. And if they smash these foundations and take down the walls, mm, we'll destroy our design. benches and our and crafters and that we've got go. upstairs and we'll lose them all. So I definitely don't want to call the purge into this building, so I will build a separate building that we can use to have our coffer in and we can do a purge in a, a later episode. But we'll, we'll have to build up some more treasure, because we've only got enough for a level 2 purge at the moment. Which is, it goes all the way up to 10. So, we'll, we'll work on that. Right, the next thing is that what they've also done is the world bosses around the, the map. They, you now take them down to get the skeleton keys like you did before however the chests are no longer next to the bosses the chests like in the isle of sipta have been moved into the dungeons some of the dungeons have a revamp uh, but the idea is you kill the world bosses get their skeleton keys take a bunch of those skeleton keys with you into dungeons and then when you get basically to the end of the dungeon you'll find the the loot chests with the legendary items in it that you need the skeleton keys for to do that we need the, the skeleton keys to open those legendary chests so we need to go and head out and grab ourselves a bunch of world bosses around the map just to grab ourselves some skeleton keys so we'll we'll head out let me see what we've got you've got some food on you but not a lot you've got a bunch of food on you let me grab some food and we'll head out and we'll go to the the first of the the world bosses that are nearby here. Uh, let's just take two stacks of that, that'll do. And uh, the closest one to here, I guess, is uh, the Scorpion Queen. No, not the Scorpion Queen, sorry, the Lotus Queen, Locust Queen, which is just over in that direction. So I'll gather our people together. Come and follow me. Grab the horse, and I'll head over there, and I'll meet you over by the the boss. Okay, see you soon. Okay, welcome back. So I'll show you where we are in the map. We're all the way over here on like A8, just at the west side of the Oasis of Naket, and just below us, just down there. You can see where like the spider's web is. the The queen is down there. However, there are some of these lotus locusts. Stop calling them lotus around here. So let's just clear a little bit of space first. You have to watch these guys because they do do poison. But these guys are super easy to go down. We will harvest them and get some glands. This sand reaper toxic gland because this is what we'll use to make poison with. Put my helmet on. May as well keep the ichor as well. There's another one over here. Pull it. So that one over there with the big forked tail is the queen. 
and that's that's the actual world boss. So let's just clear these guys out. Harvest them up. Get some more glands. Uh, right, let's move the horse just out of the way. Right, horse, you can stay here. There it is there. Right, I'll actually get my daggers out. Alright, see if we can pull it. There we go, we've pulled it. So, three skull boss. Currently only got 4,906 HP. Come on, guys. Get it. Let's start stacking up some bleed. Oh! Oh, oh, got to watch that spray, because that does a lot of poison damage. Unfortunately, they, they tend to stand in front of it, so they tend to take the brunt of that spray normally. There we go. It's almost down, and it's down. Okay, so... First thing to notice is that they have a better quality loot drop on them now, so they tend to... Oh, speaking of which... You going for my horse? Get, get off. That's it. Right, let's get its, get its bits. There we go. Right, so they'll, they'll tend to have that sort of hardened steel weapons. There. Uh, it's also got some layer silk, which is nice, some hardened bricks and water filled glass. So all good, all good stuff. And then if we harvest this one, we'll get a skeleton key. Bunch more glands. There we go. So we've got loads of this sand reaper toxin gland now, which we can use to make poison with. Um, and we got a, so I'd already, when I was out leveling up some of the, the guys a bit, I've already taken two world bosses down. So I'd already got two skeleton keys. So you can see now, skeleton keys used to stack to one, they now stack to 20. So since you've got to carry a bunch of them around and take them into dungeons, that's much better. So we've got one key from, from that guy, so we've got a total of three now. So, perfect. Right, that's the first world boss down. I'm now going to head home and I'm going to make some poison. And I'll see you when we get back there. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so we're back home, and we're at the improved alchemist bench. So if we drop our toxin glands into here, there we go, and scroll down, uh, I think it's this one, yeah, reaper poison. A poison that can be applied to daggers. I, I believe it's not just daggers, it can be applied to any weapon. But uh, it takes one reaper poison to make one vial of poison. There we go, so we'll make ten of them. And you get these little sort of vials. Each vial, when applied to a weapon, will give multiple applications of poison. So you each, you'll be able to hit something, apply poison, and I think maybe after 10 times, something like that, it'll wear away and you'd have to reapply it again. So let's let's actually make 20 of them. And uh, we'll grab them and then we'll head off to the, to the next boss and get another key. Okay, I'll see you there. Right. Here we are for the next one. You can see the, the big scorpion in front of us over there. So you can see where we are here. So this is Kalel's stronghold. So the base is around there. We'll just come round the corner. There's the stronghold. There is the unnamed city over there. That's the entrance we went in before to get the brute. And there he is there. Kalel's stronghold's just, just over in that direction. Okay, so we're going to apply some poisons to... And you see the little poison icon on our daggers there. Get the daggers out, and I'm going to take this guy out. And again, this is another poison boss, so they, you've got to be careful with these guys. His uh, poison goes straight through armor. He also does a tail swipe that can knock it like this one here. Oh. I managed to just roll underneath it so he didn't knock me flying like he knocked them. So you can see with the daggers, we're stacking up bleed, but we're also stacking up poison. So we've got double whammy. Get him down that bit quicker. Poison only goes up to 10, bleed goes up to 20. Comes again. So you, the little poison 
vial has now fallen off of my daggers. We've used up all the poison on the daggers now. So that'll just end up ticking away. Whoa. Didn't roll out of that one properly. So we've now only got bleed and then we've got sunder from Delincia's mace on it as well. There we go. It's down. So it dropped a hardened steel greatsword. Some hardened steel bars, some radium gems, which is nice, we've not encountered them yet. And a sturdy string, which is used for making epic bows if you're crafting, so one of them could be nice. And then again, we take the pick to it, and there we go, another skeleton key, bunch of ichor and feral flesh. Oh, you're coming in for a, a shot as well, eh? Now, so I forgot to show you the last place that, the where the... the chest would have been but on this guy the chest would have been right here but of course it's now gone because they've they've moved inside the base okay right i'm just going to head north and in fact let me mark this one on the map so I'll stick that there and we'll note that is the scorpion but we're just going to head up here and we're going to go into the shattered springs and get the next one okay i'll see you when i get there right as you can no doubt see, we are not at the Shower Springs. We are at Murella's Hope. And we'll... Are you on guard, me? Are you are you safe? Yes. You can come in here, and this is where you learn Mitra by speaking to Blessings Murella Mitra here. Learn you, Mitra. So are you where we are is here. For the sins of your past life. This is Hope, Murella Hope, and there's this little oasis here, and right in the middle is a boss a rhino. I decided not to go for the the rock branch that's over there, because it is does a lot of damage, and these guys are still not... I mean, they're only level 11. They're not properly leveled up yet, so... I'm, I'm not sure whether we can take that down yet with the gear and um, fighters that we've got with us. So instead, we're going to go for that guy there. This also might be a bit risky, because he's got a lot of armor, being a rhino. He's got an annoying habit of knocking your fighters into the ground, like into the floor, which can be a bit of a pain. But we'll apply another poison to our daggers, and we'll, we'll give this a go. Right, let's see. Hopefully it'll be okay. There's also some crocs around here. We probably should have cleared out the crocs first, but let's see how we get on. Alright, let's see if we can get some bleeds and poison on it. Well, he's already done ten bleeds to one of them with his charge. We can get a bit of a heal up. So, King Rhino. It's also doing a lot of damage to that one, so let's see if we can get him to swap. We'll switch off your Irritate. And everybody a pile of bleed. Right, let's get going on it. Let's put more poison on. These guys are really tough. They do a lot of damage. And that charge, there's 10 stacks of, of bleed on a on our followers. Oh, wait, it's, it's going down nicely. There we go. He's down. Uh, yeah, took a... You're down to 64%, you're down to 43%. Right, we'll put your Irritate back on again. Uh, I need a drink. Let's take a drink. Right, what loot do you have? You have some hardened steel bars, you have some composite obsidian, and a hardened steel mace. So that's a... 37 damage, my one does 53, so ours is still better. Get your key. There we go, skeleton key. Get a bunch of rhino, in fact we'll take the rhino hide because... and the flesh, because that's always going to be useful. And his chest used to be on this little outcrop here. There's a crop just there. It used to sit here, and of course it's now gone. Take that crop out please. Okay, right, let's go off and let's do one that's a little bit easier. And uh, I'll see you there. Okay, see you soon. Right, so we're not that far away, and here we are at the next one. So there's the Rhino King there. We're here, which I think is F... F8? F8, yeah. 
So just at this sort of darkened area here, goes down and we'll get some crocs down there and we've got a, a croc boss. Let's stick some poison on again, just for make life a bit quicker. There should be some normal crocs here. Oh, we're wasting our poison. Let's not waste our poison. Should be another one just over there. The big, big guys over there. Another one over here. Priest King's Retreat, this is called. Okay, All right, there's the big guy. Let's cro So, I find these the easiest. Because they've got nice predictable patterns. They've got the usual lunge forward, like that. The only other thing is he'll lift his tail up and do a three-point spin. I need to get out of the way when he does that. But uh, you can actually solo these guys from pre pretty low level. I mean, you just kind of stay at their side and then get, get a couple of bleeds on them, move away to the side, keep rolling around. Just stay at the side because they can't bite you if you're at the side. Roll away. And he'll, he'll go down. So, this guy has got more string, weapon handles, which is used for making epic swords. Uh, so these things are re really easy to craft, so it's not a big deal. Um, we've got a hardened steel greatsword again, and we've got some more radium gems. And then if we hack him a little bit, we'll get a skeleton key. So we've, we've now got six skeleton keys. Okay, so that's... His chest would be at this tree base here, but again, it's gone. I, I don't think they're all gone. I think there are still some chests in the world to be had, but the majority have them gone and are moved into the dungeon, so... Uh, I think we'll I think we'll do one more boss, which is over this... Oh, maybe, maybe two more bosses, and, uh, and then we'll head into our dungeon and have a look. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so we're going to pop in here, just so we can see where it is. Don't think we've actually been in here, but so well, let me mark that again. I'm falling behind with my my boss marking. So that's where the croc boss was. We've come under the aqueduct here, and we've come down onto the side of the river. The river is just behind us there. And just on the edge here, on the, the west side of the river, there's a little cave entrance. If we head in here, it's Scuttler's Shortcut, it's called. It's going to be a little bit dark, so let me get my torch out. So we at least get in a bit further, because this is going to have lots of spiders in it. There we go. Oh, knocked us over. Black Widows. Normal spider. Lots of crystal in here. You can harvest the crystal if you if you're looking for crystal. Can hear the can hear the music. There it is. Nope, not quite down. There he goes. It's down now. Where are you going? Where have they gone? Alright, another one. Purple one. That does poison. Oh, it's blue, it's not purple. And a normal spider. There we go. Look at all that crystal there. Crystal for days. Here they are. They've turned up at last. I think they teleport up above. And they don't quite have a pathing properly. Go on. Let me let me get him. Let me get him. So I guess it's not gonna be too hard to work out what kind of boss we're gonna get in here. Down these stairs. The linear path, there's there's no branches, you can just go straight down. But we get down, you can see there's a guy standing here. And this is the guy who teaches you the Zath religion. So you can speak to him, you can talk to him. He waves his arms, but doesn't say anything. So that, that's been bugged for 
since he arrived in the game as far as I can remember. But you can learn Nest of Zath and learn the Zath religion from him. There we go. And then in there is a spider, but not just any spider, it's a demon spider. So you can see it's slightly different. So again, I'm going to put poison on the daggers. I'm going to say, go and get this guy. There we go, demon spider. Again, oh, oh, that's corruption, so it, it kind of staggers you. Obviously gives you some corruption as well, not a lot of corruption, but the fact that it staggers you and you can't get out of any damage, it's the problem. But yeah, this, this guy goes down pretty quick. Yeah, he's got 40% left already. And more corruption. Oh, we're still in the corruption. There you go. He's down. But yeah, not too bad at all. He has another mace, hardened brick, more radium gems, some witchfire powder, which is going to be nice. We're going to need that for our sorcery. And then we give him a hack. Oh, actually, look. So we've got a skeleton key. And we've got a bunch of other junk that we don't really need. Bones and stuff. But his chest is actually still here. So they've changed the look of the loot chest to this style instead of the normal. So we can use a key and we can get strangely familiar axe. A legendary axe, 67 damage, zero armor pen. So his chest is still here. It hasn't been moved. There's also a little chest here that we need a colored crystal that is got upstairs. But yeah, okay. I'm surprised at that. His, his chest is still here. Right, let's get out. Where's the guy? That way. Get out, and we'll head to the last, the last of the bosses that I'm going to take down. There are plenty of bosses around the world, but the last type of boss, anyway. I'll see you there. Right, here we are, and as you can see in the distance, there is a massive big spider over there. Plenty of little ones dotted about as well. Uh, so that's where we are. So this is the summoning place, if you come round the back of that, that's a sinkhole, we came up this way. Um, I can't remember what that... Let's, let's just run over here and get this on the map. Big, big camp here. Oh, Spinebaker's flank, there's nobody. There's nobody here. Okay, that's interesting. This is a, a location I came before for a lot of uh, sorcerer skulls, because I think there's three, maybe four sorcerer in this little camp here. But uh, today it's empty. Okay, right, that's Spinebaker's flank there, just on that plateau. We'll come around there, and we're heading straight ahead over there to the spider. So let's, there's one of the little ones here. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to poison up our daggers. A lot of people say this is the easiest boss to fight. Again, you can just go in yourself with your daggers, tack it from the side, move around, watch out for when it jumps up in the air, it kind of comes sticking down and stuns you. Uh, Alright, let's leave the horse here. I'm going to give it a go with the guys. Are you fully healed up? You are. You've got food. You've got food. Okay. Give it a go. I'm going to put poison on my daggers again. And see if we can just get it down quick enough. Right, so daggers. We're just going to go at the side. Watch out for that. That's the big jump I was talking about. Go for its butt. Because, of course, it does d poison damage, which goes straight through armor. There's no damage mitigation for poison. So one of the reasons why we're using poison and bleed. Oh, it's going down so quick. So, yeah, this is not going to be a problem at all. It's always concerning. There we go, it's down. 
bump on its back. All right, what have we got here? Another hardened greatsword, some ebony silk, some hardened leather, more sturdy strings. Well, I can't see us making ever making nine bows. Radium gems, a lance core. Never going to make a lance. And a skeleton key. There we go. We're back up to seven skeleton keys. You get a bunch of demon blood and chitin and ichor off of that guy as well. Okay, so I think that's like most of the types of bosses. So there's there's loads. There's obviously the croc boss down here. There's a croc boss around here. Yeah, there's another one over in the jungle somewhere over... Uh, try to think where it is. Over here somewhere? But yeah. Oh, there's... um. What's they called? The monstrosities? The, the sort of weird looking rhino things that are in the jungle? There's... Maybe around here, there's a boss of them around there. There's more spiders in here as well. So yeah, there's a lot of the same, but that, that's kind of the basic bosses, and that's how you get your skeleton keys. So his chest used to be up here. So let's just check. No, it's gone. So it is one of the ones that's moved. Uh, these little sacks, if you use a sickle on them, will give you a load of gossamer. There you go. And gossamer is used to make silk. If you're looking for a lot of furnishings, use silk. Also, epic light armor, or light armor and we'll use silk, and then the the layered silk, of course, for the epic stuff. But there, there we go. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly go and revisit the dregs, because the dregs has had a little update. We've already covered the dregs, but I just want to cover... They quickly cover the couple of things that have changed inside the dregs. So I'm going to shoot across to the dregs, the dreg, sorry, and I'll see you there. Right, here we are. We're just above the dregs. We're just at this level here. Just That's the dregs below us. You can see there. So we're going to run down this hill. We're now going to fight our way all the way through Skulker's End this time. We're just going to drop in at the door, which is just around here. And... Of course, we still need to take someone in to sacrifice to get the door to open. There we go. Jump down. Right. In here. Come on, come on, come on. Don't kill everybody. Have you killed everybody? You haven't quite killed everybody yet. Fight the three. There we go. This will now open. And we can run in. Right, so we're in. There's the tablet there for the dredger stuff as before. Again, we've got the Komodo dragons. There they are. There's one there. However, if we go over to the right, as we come down the stairs, if we go over to the right, there is now that guy there, who is a Three Skull Komodo. Let me poison up my daggers again. So this is an optional boss, you don't have to do this. And if you're coming in here super low level, you, you may want to give this guy a, a wide berth. Five thousand six hundred damage. Just does that forward shoot attack a bit croc-like again. Take a drink. Luckily, there's water here. So yeah, I'm, I'll, we'll have to test this out on a lower level character because coming in here at level sixty with Sumerian berserkers, it's never going to be a problem. But if you're coming in here at level twenty, level thirty to do this dungeon the first time. This this might be a bit a bit tougher for you. There we go. Right, what does he have? He has a hardened steel shield, some bone meal, some glass flasks. And I think he gives a key. He does. So we've got another key. Okay, right, I'll I'll carry on with the dungeon and I'll bring you back when we get to the next change. Right, this is the next chain, so we're at the part where you have to shoot a target, one on either side, to get the two bodies of water to come in. To come into this bit, 
And then you see that room down there. That's normally where you encounter your first skeleton, that guy there. But actually, after you come through the first door that you shoot the target to come through, you'll actually get a, a, there's like three or four skeletons there. But in this room, there's this room down here that used to be completely empty. And now you can see it's got an acid pit with a big spider in it. So, because we don't want the spider to go down there, I'm actually going to try and pull them up here. Let's see if we can get him to come up. Again, I'm going to poison my daggers. There he goes. So, a decent sized spider. He's not as big as the other guys. Oh, wrong button. That button. Go and get him. 5,300 health. Again, we'll start. The Devourer, he's called. Of course, they've knocked him in the wall. Can you get out of the way so I can get in behind him? Come on, come on, over here, over here. Whoa. Much the same animation as that big one that we just took on. Same idea. Keep away from the front part. Just go for the, the back and legs. Watch out for him doing his jumps. Lots of stacks of bleed and poison on him. Almost down. Hey, yeah, you've got to be careful about fighting him down there because that pit of acid doesn't drain. So if his dead body falls in there, it's going to be difficult for you to loot. Right. So he's got a bunch of stuff on him. A lot of carcasses. So you can take those carcasses and get blood out of them, I suppose. Uh, Grandmaster repair kit. Some aloe. Uh, advance a fragment of power, we'll take that. And Graceful Knight. Graceful Knight is 64. What is that? Is that a katana? Let's just have a look. It is a legendary katana. And a nice looking one as well. Obviously, this is random, what you've got to get. But 64 damage, 14 armor pen with bleed, agility weapon. Nice one. There we go. Let's put that away. Oh, wrong, wrong place. Give me the weapon back. Right. So now we need to head to the the final boss room for the for the final change of the dungeon. Okay. See you back there. Briefly, just got to bring you back here. So we're in this room that's got a couple of the skeletons in it. But look at the loot you get off of this guy. Grey lotus seeds, hop seeds. So grey lotus seeds and grey lotus flowers and as, also, as well as black and purple lotus seems to be something that drops off these skeletons quite a lot now even in these low level dungeons so very nice okay see you a bit something else to let you see so in the chest the chest loot has been improved massively so because this is still the early level dungeon we've got iron sickle in it iron mace iron bars iron reinforcement an iron pot and a standing blacksmith decoration sign. There seems to be quite a lot of decorations going around at the moment. But also, abysmal sword. So that's the sword that you learn the recipe off of the last boss. And you have to craft it yourself. But here's one actually fully repaired. Uh, 21 damage available in a chest for you to just pick up if you, if you so want. Okay, I'm going to take on the boss and I'll see you at the end. Right, here we go. This should be the last of it. There it is. He's down. So we can hack him up as normal. Let's skin him. Get some more of those fangs. So that's all as normal. There's the book as normal. However, there is now one, two, three loot chests in here. These are the fancy loot chests that need the key. That one's got Belpator's Razor, very nice. That one has got the Papyrus Blade, so it's two two-handed swords. And that one has got the Watch Blade. So, very sword heavy that time, of course, as I said before, completely... Why are you stuck in the floor? It's completely RNG, what you get. And then out here... Oh no, wait, before we, before we do that, there is now... Let me see if I can find it. Where's the stairs? Up there. So over here, this chain. Oh, the chain here. You can see that's been added. So we have to kind of climb up on here. If I can get up. Up on here. Not too much. Struggling to get up on here. 
a bit. Ugh. Right, so we we'll point it there and kind of jump, and we can hold down the climb button, and we will climb up the chain. We'll go around the side. It's quite a distance to get up. just enough stamina to get up here. To be honest, I never looked up. So this chain definitely wasn't here. That's been added, but I didn't look up to see if the steps were here before. So we can now go up these steps. And we keep going up. We'll come across a chest or two. Be careful not to fall. Keep going up. And there we go. Right up at the top, we've got two chests. So this one, again, nothing very exciting. We've got some thick hide, we'll take that. Some pretty simple stuff, a Defari cudgel. What's in this one? So this one has got an impaled skull, another decoration. A bone shield. Oh, but it's got the yellow bar around it. It's got some durability damage. Okay. So it's, it's not a legendary one. Interesting. Okay, so this time we didn't get anything, but there is the chance to get um, some some nice, potentially legendary items from these one. Just by jumping on that chain, and then you can work your way up here. Okay, right, so that's going to do it for today. We've covered over how to get a bunch of skeleton keys that uh, we, we can take into the... No longer have the chest outside. Uh, you can now have to take them into a dungeon, and I've showed you the the couple of changes that we've got inside the Dregs dungeon that we've previously done. Uh, it's the Komodo Dragon, Three Skull Komodo Dragon optional boss at the start, and then there's the, the spider in the acid pool halfway through, uh, both of which are completely optional, and then, and then at the end of the dungeon, once you've killed the Abyssal Remnant and drained his pool, you've got three legendary chests in there. And then there's this chain to get up, up on top of here. Okay, so that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you like this video, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.